Hey and welcome to Ladan Labs. I'm Felix, a materials specialist at Fjellraven, and today's topic is warmer climate or warm weather. So let's start by talking about the human body. The human body is optimized to lay still in the shadow in somewhere around 28, 29 degrees Celsius surrounding. Then we're in equilibrium with the environment in terms of temperature, meaning our core temperature is steady. It doesn't move up and down too much. We're, and we're in the comfort zone, so to say. But as soon as we start moving, we will start generating heat. Of course, movements as well, but we're kind of ineffective as machines. So we generate a lot of heat when we move. And this heat, to keep the core temperature at the right temperature, we start to sweat because sweat from the skin will evaporate and the evaporation will draw temperature from the body and mean that we're cooling off. Then it comes to the apparel and the garments around us and the materials then need to help us transport that humidity away from us. For in general, talking about comfort in warmer climate is to stay dry, cool and not uh, exposed to, to the sun too much. So then it's important with, as already mentioned, the, the moisture transportation, often referred to as breathability or breathable materials, but in reality is not breathable, it's moisture that is transported. It also needs to be an airy material, uh, like this one, for example, which allows a natural airflow, because the airflow, a lot of air moving or being in contact with uh, the skin, meaning able to absorb or evaporate, help evaporate a lot of the moisture, will help us cool down more and we can sweat even more if we move even more intense or, or sweat more. So that's also a very important function. This is a topic we could talk about for hours and hours, but this will be all for this episode. Thank you very much for listening and looking forward to see you in the future.